So g'day everyone, how you going? Um, out in the Shoalhaven, gonna go put some crab pots in this morning. Probably won't do too much fishing because the wind is already up, but we'll see how it goes and I'll come out tomorrow morning and grab them. Where I'm going, I really need peak of tide to get in there because I don't, I don't even know whether I'm gonna get in there, but we'll go have a look. I'll have my coffee on the way because it's been a bit of a rush getting out there and I'm still a bit beaten up from October long weekend and coming off the bike. So, hope you're enjoying this and please like and subscribe all the rest of it and I'll um, get into it, let's do some fishing. So I think I'm through the hardest part. But I'm certainly hit some sand on the way in here and I've never seen it this shallow before, so see how far we can get. I only have a very short window of tide as well, so walk the boat out of here but that's what it takes that's what it takes hopefully that was the worst of it but I don't know what's happened after the floods up here I've been up here in a long time since last season but this is one spot where I know my crab pots won't get touched Rough run in here. Jeez, I hit some sand. Uh. We should be right now, hopefully. Doesn't help that my knee is still beaten up from the uh, June, the October long weekend. Logs and all sorts of stuff in the way, I think. I'm in where I wanted to be, but that was pretty rough going. I'm a little bit early on the tide, but I wanted to get in here before the um, before the peak of the tide, just so I can get out. It's very shallow, heaps more shallow than what I remember. But um, we'll get a few pots out. Tide's meant to be a bit higher tomorrow anyway. We'll just see what we can make happen. A few little fish jumping. Get the pots ready, eh? Might have to paddle around to put them in. And so all my pots are set up. You can hear people cruising around on the island. But um, I've got about half an hour until full tide. So I'm just trying to give it a little bit more time so I can actually move the boat around. Because it's super shallow in here. Poor little engine. To get it in here, I was literally lifting the engine out of the water half the time and ran it dry a few times, but she'd be right. Put a few pots in and see what we can make happen. May have to have a little snack first, but. The poor knee is not loving life. But the silly games you play on motorbikes, and look what happens. I brought the rod with me just so if the wind is not too bad when I get out of here, I'm going to go flick a few lures around and see if I can get a bit of a feed. 
but I think this is going to be a kayak only spot from now on after this trip because that was a hassle even more of a hassle than a bloody kayak but as long as I pick no wind I'm sure it'll be right one oh, let's see how we go Right, that was a mission. Let's see if we can get back before um I've still got tide coming in really. Let's see if we can go do some fishing. Tide's still pushing in heaps, so that's a good thing. Tide's pushing in that hard, it's pushed that log back across the water. I'm literally trapped. Sketchy as. I'm gonna have to like bring an axe tomorrow. Damn it. Wonder if I can get in early. Hopefully the tide pushes it out of the way again. And um, I can like tie it off to a tree or something. But that was horrible. me out and was not good for the knee. Ow. Right, one more hard bit to go through and we're out. Ugh. God damn it.
that was a bit of an adventure. I don't know what's going on with my little missions lately. October long weekend meant to be trout fishing. Ended up in hospital on Monday. Um, that, taken the boat up there a couple of times. Done it flat out before, after the floods. I got bloody logs in the way, shallow water everywhere. I'm gonna see if I can try and take someone with me to help me with that log tomorrow. But um, while we're out here, we'll go have a quick flick. I'm not going too far from home just because the weather's meant to get worse and worse as the day goes. And I don't like my odds of convincing anyone to come out tomorrow in the rain, so... It may take an axe or something, I don't even know. I'll head up there a bit early and hopefully tie it off. Hopefully the tide's moved it a bit. But I'll have a quick flick while we're out here. Um, see if I can get a flathead or two and we'll go from there. mission I don't know why I'm smart like there's people with crab pots over there I should just stick to easy spots so flicking lures in this wind isn't really working for me I'm basically trawling them um, and I'm getting further away from home as the as the weather gets worse so I'm going to head back up towards the heads. I'll have one little flick for the boat ramp, I think, on a little spot I know there should be out of the wind. But that might do it until tomorrow. The wind's meant to be less tomorrow and the tide's meant to be a bit higher, so I'll go in and get those crab pots. That's going to be a mission on its own with that bloody log in the way. I might try one little spot out here first. Maybe. Ah, uh, may as well. <sighs> Alright, so I think that'll do for the day. The weather's only getting worse. The river's changed so bloody much. See if I can make my way back and um, round up someone to come help me get these crab pots tomorrow. So that was a rough one out there, but I'll um, go see if I can round up my neighbour to come help me get those crab pots in the morning. And the wind's meant to be down a lot tomorrow, so I'll have another flick. I'll go play with the kids. And um, I think the missus wants me to go to Bunnings as well, so... We'll get sorted and I'll um, we'll head back out there tomorrow morning, see if we got some crabs. Hopefully, navigate that bloody log again. Uh. So we're back out on the river again, uh, next morning. Uh, we still had a little while before the tide comes in enough so I can get up that creek. Got Nick with me, say good day. Good day, how you going? <laughs> Prawns. Prawns. But um, we'll go up and see if we can get some mud crabs and the wind's definitely down today so we might even have a flick and see if we can round up a flathead or two. Hope you enjoy it. And hopefully we get some crabs and fish. So 
a much nicer day out here today than yesterday. I'm just going to have a bit of a float around, wait for the tide to come in a little bit more, flick a few lures. Nice to have someone on the boat to talk to besides the camera. Still heaps of swell pushing in here from the mouth. See if we can get a fish or two happening. Wait until this next bit. See that log up there? Oh, yeah. yeah. It looks like it's out of the way, but we might just have to drag it back a bit or something so it doesn't. Oh, that's some big mullet. Yeah, yeah I, I got this bit covered. Ah, was it? Just what we needed. Perfect, Nico. Yeah, there's some monsters in here, man. Yeah. If you want to stop and get some, just let me know. Well done. Sweet. Yeah, dude, it was all stuck in there yesterday. Oh, and I come yeah. up to it and I was like, oh no. There's one other shallow bit, but I reckon we'll be able to get past that easy. Yeah, yeah, I think I remember. So we made it in here. A lot easier with Nick helping me. Tying off logs and so on. In the bend's hole. We'll flick a couple of lures around and just see if there is anything floating around in here and then we'll get these crab pots out. I'll catch a brimmy. Gotta be flatty in here. I know there's some good brim chopping yesterday when I was in here. Sorry. Should be right if I can pull him up. I don't know, crab pot. I don't know, No, a little one. Ah, uh, he's just slipping. Oh, bugger. Oh, that's an easy one. Don't. He's full as. Legal muddy, man. Yeah, cool. Uh. Oh, it's a monster. Oh, mother. That's a huge bitch. Sick. All right, I'm just going to go back here so I can deal with him. Don't yeah. let that get your hands. Yeah, bro. Oh. Wow, mate, that is a bloody mess. That's a beast. <laughs> yeah, just. Kill and I'll um, I'll fucking, I'll tape this one up so it doesn't kill that other one. Yeah. <laughs> That's a stinker. That's a meaty beast. Wow, dude. There's definitely plenty of crabs in here. I was half expecting this crap to be destroyed by something like this. Yeah, okay. Don't let him get those fingers, brother. No. I've got him. Okay. If you want to start cutting. We 
not going to be able to untangle that without getting smashed. Couple of monsters. <laughs> this one's legal as well, man. Really? Yeah. Do you want two crabs for dinner? Yeah, sure. Sweet. Four legal muddies. Not bad, and two monsters. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> They're massive. So we've got a couple of monster muddies there and also two legal ones. But we're gonna stop and grab some oysters so Nico on that log that trapped me yesterday as well. The tide is still smashing in. Up on those trees to the right, you reckon? Yeah, yeah. Watch out for those breakers in there. Yep. <laughs> a meter or two here. Yeah. So we've got two legal muddies here. But then we've got two absolute monsters here. Put this one out of his misery, just so he doesn't take off my bloody hand. But look at the size of that weapon. The size of those claws. Monster. Yeah, good tonight. Stonka. Stonka. It's the size of those claws. She's a big beast. Yeah. It's a monster. Yeah. It's a monster. <laughs> Eat good tonight, big bark. Just those claws in your hands, like the size of that one. <laughs> so two legal ones and uh, two monsters. So it's good little crabbing sesh. Glad I had Nick there to help me get the bloody 
log out of the way and muck around getting himself some oysters. Calm down. But um, there will be plenty more to come. Please like and subscribe and all the rest of it. And I'm going to go home and cook myself a mad crab dinner. So hope you enjoy, guys. Cheers for watching. Have a good arvo.